This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing Caveco Sport nibs. I'll be doing writing samples with an extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and double broad stainless steel nib, as well as a 14 karat fine nib, and we can see where it falls in comparison to the steel nibs. And in fact, I also have two additional extra fine steel nibs that came on my Skyline Sport and Lily Put. Now these two are older. In fact, the Skyline Sport was the very first fountain pen that I bought for myself back in 2015. And I've heard that Caveco used to use Bach as their nib supplier and then they switched over to Yovo. But I've also heard that Caveco uses a combination of both. So that's just something to keep in mind as we do these nib comparisons. The ink I'm going to be using today is Herban Poussière de Lune or Moon Dust. And you can see that this ink has a little bit of trouble grabbing the paper. This is a swatch that I did with tweezers. So I'm curious to see how this ink performs in a variety of nibs. I'm curious to see which nib is the best fit for it. I'm going to begin with the Lily Put. It has a stainless steel extra fine nib and this particular nib I've had trouble with it writing a little too dry so I'm curious to see how it performs with this ink. I'm writing on 52 GSM Tomoe River paper not bad. It feels a little dry but but yeah you can see that it's a little dry. It looks good. Next is a Caveco Skyline Sport with another extra fine stainless steel nib and this one has always been known to write a little wetter and wider than what I thought an extra fine should write. quite a bit wetter. And I should say that for lengthy writing sessions, this nib has always started out writing nice and wet like this and then gradually wrote uh, drier and drier as I worked my way down the page. The feed, I, I guess, just can't keep up with this nib. Next, I've got my Caveco AL Sport Golden Espresso. This nib or this pen came with a medium nib, but I ordered an extra fine replacement nib just recently. And that's the nib I'm testing next. All of my newer nibs are gold plated that I ordered to go with this AL Sport. Okay, now this particular nib writes more like an extra fine, like the nib on the Lily Put, but it writes wetter like the nib on the Skyline Sport. I feel like this nib writes like it's supposed to. I like the way this one's writing. Now for the remainder of the writing samples, I'm going to clean out the nib that I have in my AL Sport and install a replacement nib and do its writing sample. Next is the fine stainless steel nib and the nib unit just has threads on it. It just screws into the section. Now that's how you install it in an AL Sport or a Lily Put. For a, for a Skyline Sport though, it doesn't have a threaded section. You just have to 
pull the nib and feet out it's just friction fit in there but for the the slightly more premium pins it just threads in there so I'm going, going to just dip this in some ink and that's what I'll be doing for the remainder of the writing samples Okay, this is the Caveco Fine Nib. Not quite as wet as the Extra Fine, but pretty pleasant to write with. Wetter, it's wetter than that extra fine that's on the lily put. Next, I have the medium nib that came on this Caveco AL Sport. I've enjoyed this particular nib for journaling. I haven't noticed this nib being particularly dry in the past, but this ink must be drier than the inks I've been using. And this medium nib seems to be writing drier than the fine nib, and the fine nib looks like it was writing a little bit drier than the extra fine nib. Next, I've got the stainless steel broad nib. A little bit of a hard start there. This is a really smooth nib. There might be a tiny bit of baby's bottom or over polishing. But this is very smooth. The medium nib was also very smooth, but with it being a drier like that, there was more drag on the paper. But This broad nib is writing nice and wet, and that's very nice. Next, I've got the double broad stainless steel nib. Again, very smooth. And it's putting down a nice amount of ink. Yeah, look at that. And finally, I have the 14 karat fine nib. And when you compare it to the steel fine nib, I was going to say it's quite a bit wetter, but maybe a little wetter. Okay, let's compare these. Okay, when you pull back, you can really see, especially on the little scribbles, which nibs were wetter and which were drier. Um, the medium nib, surprisingly, the one I've been using quite a bit, is one of the drier nibs along with the lily put that I already knew it was a dry writer. This medium nib, I've enjoyed using it with inks that tend to be really wet and maybe a little sloppy in other nibs. They do really well in this medium nib and this is why it's a pretty dry writer. These broad nibs, I'm surprised at how wet they are because as I was looking at... now. I'm not talking about the older two nibs. I'm going to start here with my newer Extra Fine. It wrote pretty wet because I'm assuming these all use the same feeds, each of these nib units. This one wrote pretty wet and it put all that ink down in a really fine line. The fine nib was a little bit wider, so it's still, I'm assuming, putting down the same amount of ink just in a wider line so it feels a little bit drier. And then the medium nib is spreading the ink out even more, so it would feel a little drier. So 
I'm surprised at how wet the two broads are riding. Those were very fun to write with. Those would be, these two nibs would be great for those multi-shading inks. They tend to be a little bit pale and feel dry, but in these wet writing broad nibs, it, I imagine they would be pretty fun. And the 14 karat fine nib, when you compare it to the fine nib up here, it just, it writes just enough wetter that it feels more pleasant. It's, both nibs are very smooth. In fact, all of these nibs were very smooth. It's just the more ink you get put on the page, the more lubricated your nib will be and will glide over the page a little bit better. So I do like the 14 karat fine the best. And for this particular ink, the way it shades, the medium is just a little bit too dry. But the others, they just look, this ink looks really great in any of them. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.